Hey folks, it's John with KG Tropicals, back for another hang on the back filter review, setup, installation, all of that. This is all part of a series. I'm doing all five of these filters, uh, showing you them in operation. And in the end, I'm going to give you my final say on what I think is the best in the bunch. Uh, these are all good filters. I've used all of them, so none of them are going to be junk, uh, at least I don't think. But today we're talking about the Aquion Quiet Flow 20. I think I said in the last video that, I, that these are all for a 30 gallon tank. They're not. They're all for a 20 gallon tank. I think. Or up, I don't know. This one's for a 10, a 20. What? Uh, it's actually rated for a 30 gallon aquarium. Like I said, all of these are rated for a 30 gallon aquarium, but they're all available in all different types of sizes. Types of sizes, all different sizes. Unboxing this one, it's pretty easy. Everything is all self-contained here in this little cellophane wrapper, which is actually kind of cool. Now we have, I think like eight of these in operation in our fish room right now. Uh, it's a cool filter. It works. It works well. Uh, but there's one thing about them that kind of makes me say, hmm, I don't know about that. But we'll get into that as we get on with this. So <laughs> there's tape on them, and it's a pain in the you-know-what. Here we go. Okay. So these filters, I'm going to be honest. I've never read the directions. But they have this LED thingy, majigger. And it, I guess it's supposed to tell you when the filter is done and when it's time to change your filter. Uh, I have installed them on all of the ones that we have in operation, and the light has never come on. The cat interrupted me in this video, but I've never had one of the lights come on, ever. So I don't really know what the light is for. Maybe I will read the instructions uh, while we're going through this one here. So... Uh, Rena, don't let these filters falling apart as I'm doing these reviews. Don't let that make you think that the filter is bad. So this is kind of cool, I guess. I don't think my other ones did this. The, the ones that we have are all for 10 gallon. It's got the little retractable hose. That's kind of cute. Uh, the other thing that this filter really has going for it is the fact that the motor is under the water. Uh, there's been quite a few filters that have been doing that lately, and it's very smart because it keeps the motor in the water, which keeps it a lot quieter. So that's cool. Uh, Marineland's doing that now with their newer ones. So yeah, unboxing is, it, it, it's a filter. It's not really anything all that impressive. It's just a filter in a box. Just as with the other filters, uh, very, very simple installation. I'm going to kind of measure this now, but uh, unlike the Marine Land, which we did a couple of weeks ago, uh, the, the tube on this is actually adjustable for the smaller tank. So you can put one that's designed for a 20 gallon onto a 10 gallon or a 30 gallon. I don't know. It's a quiet flow 20, but you set it in there. There you go. There's no adjustable thingy. At least I don't think there is. No, there's no adjustable doohickey to make it sit perfectly flat. Uh, this is an Aquion tank with an Aquion filter on it. We are not sponsored by Aquion, but, you know, we pick all this stuff at Petco. It's no big deal. Um, so it's made specifically for that. So it sits nice and straight, vertical, not leaning back or anything like that. So that's, it doesn't really require that spacer to hold it upright. And I would imagine it would be that way with pretty much any 10 or 20 gallon tank. If yours has some different type of frame on it uh, and you need to stick something back there, something like a folded up business card, fold it up like eight times and stick it up back there. Once there's water in the filter, it'll weigh it down enough and it'll hold it there. Uh, I mean, hey, if you're in a pinch, you got to do whatever you got to do, right? Um, so that would do that. But for this particular case, we don't need it. Comes with the cartridge. Not sure what the deal is with this little cage thing that it has on it. I would imagine that the, the logic behind this thing, the, the cartridge is removable from this. Um, this is, with all of these little knobs on here, this would serve as an area to grow a ton of beneficial bacteria. It looks like a cheese grater, but all of those little nubs just provide 
a lot more area for the growth of bacteria. So that's why they do that. Um, sure, I guess it works. I mean, <laughs> how do you really know? You know what I mean? If your tank's healthy, then you assume, yeah, it's doing what it's supposed to do. So these would be the replaceable cartridges that you can purchase um, and replace into here. They're actually marked quite clearly. Uh, the cartridge says front. Oh, I'm going to try to make sure I got that on camera. Uh, and that helps so that you don't put these in backwards like I did with the Marine Land a couple of weeks ago. Uh, quite a few of you were very quick to let me know about that. And you know what? It was a boneheaded move on my part, so I deserved that. Cartridge slips in there. Easy. Simple. And you don't have to pull the whole thing out if you're going to maintain it. You can just pull this cartridge out by itself. Throw this away when the carbon is no longer good. Stick a new one in there. There you go. This thing here. Now I'm not sure about this thing. Uh, I would imagine, again, this is just, this is additional filtration for when it enters uh, the last little bit of filtration before it goes back into the tank. Again, you've got all these doobly-doos that hang out in the back here uh, that are going to be, again, more area for the growth of beneficial bacteria. And it just slides in just like that. And uh, yeah, I mean, sure. All right, so this one, just like the Seachem, uh, it, it fills up right away, which is really, really nice because it has that internal pump, uh, which is one of the, the things that I really like about this filter. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Um, any filter that has an internal pump, meaning that the, fil the pump is inside the water, not in the box, that gets a thumbs up from me. I think they should all be that way. Does it make them better? As far as the, the power of the filter, not necessarily, I don't think so. But what it does is it keeps the filter quieter. Uh, this filter has its issues with noise and we're gonna talk about that in a minute, but uh, it definitely keeps things a lot quieter. Every single filter that I've ever used that has an internal pump, meaning that the pump is the first thing that comes in contact with the water. The pump sends the water into the box it processes through the media, and then it spills back over into the tank. Every filter that I've ever had that has that has been ultra quiet, and that's a great thing. When you have those impellers in the back, in the box itself, sometimes they can vibrate, they can make crazy noises, so it's very good. Again, it doesn't necessarily make it a better filter. It just makes it quieter in the early parts. I gotta stop my phone. Tim Cook, answer me this. How come when I put my phone on silent mode when I'm recording videos, notifications still come through from somebody? Anyway, so <laughs> putting the lid on here, there's one thing here that I am not going to do. Uh, we're going to give this filter away. And because of that, I am not going to install this thing here. We will talk about it. Uh, the lid goes on. The lid is not finicky, but it can go on a lot of different ways. And it can be just slightly off. It can be a little bit crooked. I'm telling you right now, you have to make sure that the lid is on there firmly. Is it gonna affect the performance of the filter? Absolutely not. But if it's not seated in there perfectly, that's when this thing can start vibrating and you'll hear it from a mile away and you're like, what in the world is that? The filter's broken. It's not broken. You basically just have to walk up to it and go and it'll stop. Uh, but if you make sure that the, the lid is seated in there properly, you should be fine. Now this thing here, uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't know if this is a, a gimmicky thing or if this is for real, uh, and I'm gonna tell you why I feel that way in a second, but what this is is an LED indicator that you put inside the top of the filter here. And I'm gonna show you how it goes in, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna uh, turn it on, if you will. It's got one of those little strips. Uh, I'll show you close up here. It's got one of these little strips in here that is uh, protecting the battery. Uh, so you have to pull this tab out and that'll put the batteries together and it'll uh, engage the batteries on here. Um, so if you don't pull out this little tab, this just won't work. Uh, and I'm not gonna do that because 
I'm going to give this away and I don't want to ruin these batteries for whoever I'm going to give it away to. Now, the reason why I say I don't really know if this works or not is because, like I said, I've got five of these filters running right now. We've never had one of these go on. Now, does that mean that Lisa just does a really good job of maintaining these filters? Probably. But what this thing is for, just like the little blue doobly-doo thing on the sea do oh, sea do What? Where are you at, John? Seachem filter, this is supposed to tell you when maintenance is needed on the filter. Basically, what happens is this little LED guy, I'll show it to you close up. This little LED cartridge goes into here. So when the filter fills up and the water makes contact with that little thingy, the little probe right there, when the water makes contact with that, it'll turn the light on. And that tells you, or it'll blink the light, I guess, is what the instructions say. And that tells you, hey, get off your ass and go maintain your filter. Uh, the reason why that happens is because if you're looking in here, if the water's not flowing through this sponge, if the sponge is all clogged up, or if this front sponge, if the filter itself is all clogged up with fish poop and all of that, the water is actually going to build up behind it and overflow over the top of that filter or of the cartridge. If that happens, the water is at a level where it will engage this LED. So that's what this thing is all about. Again, I don't know if it works. If you're doing your job, you shouldn't need this. But it is, just like I said with the Seachem one, it is good, especially for new fish keepers that don't have a routine yet. They don't know how often they should be doing water changes. Uh, it's good to have that, just as a reminder. Hey, you're being lazy. Go clean your tank. Go, maintain, go maintenance your filter. Uh, so anyway, again, I'm not going to engage it, but it slides down in there. It does go down in flush, and it looks nice when it's in there. But I, yeah, I'm not going to do it because I just don't want to. And whoever wins this is going to appreciate that, right? So if you are in the market for a new filter, should you consider the Aquion? Yes, you should. Uh, again, as I've said with all of the other uh, filter reviews, I bought this. Nobody's paying me to say this. You should consider this, and there's a few reasons why. First, that internal fil uh, pump, love that. Keeps this thing very, very quiet. Definitely a plus there. Uh, if you're new, the little LED indicator, sure, that might be a plus for you. Uh, easy to maintain. Everything is easy to pull out. It's actually got labels on it to show you which way is front and which way is back. There is a lot of internal things in this filter that is designed for the collection of beneficial bacteria. If you're brand new to fish keeping, look up the nitrogen cycle. You need to know about that before you set up your tank. But this is going to be a cesspool for the growth of beneficial bacteria, which is what we need to keep our tanks healthy. So the fact that it has all of these little thingies that are all over the place to grow the bacteria on is awesome. I like that a lot. Uh, makes it look a little strange, but you know what? When you have the lid on it, you don't see that. But this thing, unless the filter or the, unless the lid isn't on tightly, this thing is dead nuts quiet, just like that Seachem. Actually, I don't, I've never heard a filter as quiet as the Seachem that we reviewed last week, but uh, this one is very, very quiet. I've got two of these, actually this exact filter, this size and everything, I've got on 15 gallon guppy tank, or one, who cares? I have two tanks in my living room. I've shown them in videos before. They're little 15 gallon column tanks that came with these filter, these filters. They're in my living room and I've never heard a sound out of them, which is good if you're in there trying to watch a movie, whatever, it's definitely nice. Or if you're trying to watch the Redskins lose, which apparently is a weekly thing. I said that and then I had a huge coughing attack Shame on me. Shame on the Redskins. But anyway, I've got them in my family room on either side of my TV. Maybe I'll put a little B-roll of that to show you where I've got them. And I never hear anything from these. So they're very, very quiet. They're easy to maintain. And one of the biggest bonuses about these filters is that they're cheap. And that's, for most of us, that's one of the most important things is how easy are they to maintain? And how cheap are they? Uh, not only are the filters cheap, but also the replacement cartridges and things like that are inexpensive too. So 
Affordable is a huge plus. Um, and I'm going to tell you they're efficient because I have not had any issues with the tanks that these filters have been on. So overall, it is a good filter. Am I going to put it number one on my list? No. If I have to pick my favorite, this, this would not be my favorite. But this is a solid competitor to all of these. And I don't know for a fact, it might be the, the uh, top fin. I don't know. But it might be the cheapest out of all of them. Uh, I will put the price up on the screen here, as I'll do with all of them. Uh, the Seachem, I'm pretty sure, is the most expensive, followed up by the Fluval. And then I think the, the top fin and this one are the cheapest with the Marine Land in there somewhere. I don't know. But it's inexpensive. It's easy to maintain. It has this little doobly-doo if you need it, uh, which you shouldn't. Um, lots of innovative little things for the growth of bacteria. Pump, internal, in the water. Those are all absolute pluses. I guess I got to think of something negative. Honestly, again, I, what am I going to say negative about it? I, I don't know. I don't know anything negative that I would say. I mean, it, it what? I don't know. It's got a lot of doobly doos in it. That might be a negative for some people. Some people might look at this thing and go, that's way too much stuff. And it's going to get clogged up and it looks weird and it's blue. And I don't like that. Doesn't bother me, but it might bother you. Uh, some people don't like these filters as a whole because they say replacement cartridges are garbage. You should use this and you should do that and you should put these sponges in it. I'm talking to new fish keepers. I'm not talking to you, the people that are too snobby to use a filter like this. I'm talking to the new fish keeper, somebody that's just getting into this that wants something easy, cheap, and efficient. And this filter does all of that, is all of that. So checks all of the, those boxes. So I'm a fan of this filter. I like it. Um, sure, if you are new to this and you need a filter, you're not going to do wrong by buying this. So there you go. I mean, it's simple. I'm not going to go through the whole list again. It's a good filter. This is a good filter. It is. I mean, I, I'm, again, I'm not going to tell you that it's my favorite out of the whole lineup, but it's a good filter. I've got five of them. So what does that tell you? Lisa bought all of them, but still, you know. We've got five of them in here. We haven't had any problems with any of them. Again, the only problem we've ever had with them is if the lid isn't on perfectly, sometimes they can get a little noisy. You walk up and you literally touch it and the noise goes away, so it's not a problem. Uh, overall, they have been solid and they're cheap. The best thing about it, I said this before, if it breaks after a couple of years or it's making a bunch of noise or something like that, it just go buy another one. They're like 25 bucks. They're not that bad. So if you, if you get two years out of a $25 filter, I'd say you're doing pretty well. So anyway, there you go. If you want this filter, which I'm going to have to convince Lisa because she's probably going to be like, wait, we already have a bunch of those. I'll keep that one too. But no, nope, I'm not going to let her do that because I said it all along. I'm going to give all of these away. If you want this filter right here with the little things still in the batteries, all you have to do is be a subscriber to this channel, put a comment down below. It can say anything. Whatever you want to say, talk about how much you love this filter, talk about how much you hate it, talk about how much you don't want it or how it would change your life if you got this. Whatever you want to say, put it down there. I will randomly select one of the comments and I will put this thing back in the box and I will ship it to that person. The only stipulations are that you have to put the comment down below. You have to be a subscriber to this channel and I'm sorry, folks, but you have to live in the United States. I, I'm sorry. I just, that's, it's just, it is what it is. I know I've got a lot of viewers that are outside of the United States, and to them, I apologize. I hope we can still be friends. But whoever I send this to is going to have to be a U.S. resident because I don't want to go broke sending these things all over the world. So there you go. Subscribe, comment down below, put anything you want, and live in the United States, and you might be the one that wins this thing. There you go. So thank you so much for watching. What am I going to do now? I'm recording all of these in one day. We'll do the top fin next. So if you want to see that, if you want to see a review of the top fin PF40, make sure you're subscribed so that you get a notification when that video goes up next week. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week.